In a virtual event set in a Google store, Senior Vice President Rick Osterloh unboxed the star of the show. Pixel 6 is designed inside and out to understand the nuance of view. The Google Pixel 6 and larger Pixel 6 Pro have a camera bar with upgraded sensors that utilize computational photography for some new features. With Real Tone, the Pixel 6 uses improved face detection and algorithms to better balance exposures for people of color. Google also introduced Magic Eraser, which allows users to quickly erase unwanted objects or people. What really sets this feature apart is how we're able to figure out what you're trying to remove and how well we can fill what's in its place. Even if something is not suggested, you can still erase that distraction. Just circle them and they disappear. And you can use Magic Eraser on Pixel to clean up all your photos, whether you took them a minute ago or years ago. I look at it within that broad theme of, of Google bringing some of these features that have a helpful, that's you know a, a response from a user where they look at that and say, oh, that's cool, that's useful, I could use that, and do more of those things as they layer those features in over time as well. The advanced tools are made possible by Google's Tensor Chip, which harnesses the power of artificial intelligence, a field Google's been on the forefront of for years. The company showed how when calling and reaching a customer service menu, Google Assistant can display the menu options for you without you even having to listen. If you're put on hold, Google Assistant can listen for you and then notify you when a live human is finally on the line. Google also showed off its improved live translation capabilities during an interview with famous organizing consultant Marie Kondo. I'm surprised that it's translated so perfectly. <laughs> it feels like they're um, all guns blazing forward now with Pixel and their ambitions are, uh, are now quite large. Because how are they doing um, in terms of market share with the previous Pixels? I mean, it's small. Even Google will admit that they wish sales were better. If they're you know, just around 1%, maybe just shy of 1% of the global market. The U.S. is really a, a duopoly between Samsung and iPhone. The Google Pixel 6 is priced at $600 and the Pro version at $900. But Heron says while the product itself looks good, many other factors like carrier deals and promotions will ultimately determine whether Google becomes a major player in the highly competitive smartphone market. Mark Du, CGTN, Mountain View, California.